Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief, headlines edition, all the daily AI news you need in around five minutes. Apologies for the voice, but we persevere. One of the really interesting things about deep sea launching was that it seemed pretty inevitable that it was going to put competitive pressure on the big American labs to do things in slightly different ways. Obviously, one part of that pressure was going to be financial, with labs having to try to bring the cost down to match DeepSeek, but it also seemed like there was likely to be some UI copying that would go on as well. We have now officially seen that with OpenAI updating the visible chain of thought of their reasoning models. All free and paid-tier users will have a more complete view of the thinking from models like 01 and 03 Mini as they produce a response. OpenAI told TechCrunch, we're introducing an updated chain of thought for 03 Mini designed to make it easier for people to understand how the model thinks. With this update, you'll be able to follow the model's reasoning, giving you more clarity and confidence in its responses. This was very notably one of the things that regular people really liked about DeepSeek's R1 when it came to the App Store. Caspian at Split by Comma shared a conversation where someone had said, DeepSeek is so cute too, it shares its thought process. To which someone responded, it's super cute the way it talks to itself. But in addition to just being cute, it obviously builds a lot of trust in being able to understand how it gets to the answer that it ultimately produces. OpenAI had previously been displaying briefer summaries on the chain of thought. This was likely done for competition reasons, with researchers having found that it's extremely cheap and easy to duplicate reasoning functionality through distillation. Still, full reasoning samples won't be shown for O3 Mini. Officially, OpenAI says this is a safety precaution, commenting, to improve clarity and safety, we've added an additional post-processing step where the model reviews the raw chain of thought, removes any unsafe content, and then simplifies any complex ideas. However, Chief Product Officer Kevin Wheel did suggest that it was probably still an anti-distillation measure. During a Reddit AMA last week, he said, We're working on showing a bunch more than we show today, TBD on all. Showing all chain of thought leads to competitive distillation, but we also know people, at least power users, want it, so we'll find the right way to balance it. Staying on the OpenAI theme, Project Stargate is close to selecting more data center sites in Texas and turning to other states. Bloomberg reports that OpenAI is, quote, far along in the process of picking several locations in Texas for massive data center projects, according to a company spokesperson. The first site is already under construction in Abilene, Texas, and reportedly staff from OpenAI and SoftBank are evaluating potential sites in 13 more states, visiting locations in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Oregon this week. Each site is expected to function at around one gigawatt of capacity. That's roughly the output of a nuclear reactor and six times larger than the rumored capacity of XAI's Colossus supercluster. Chris Lehane, OpenAI's Vice President of Global Affairs, said the joint venture had been bombarded with enormous interest from elected officials across the country following their White House announcement. OpenAI has begun openly courting proposals as of last week to accelerate their site selection process. Lehane promoted the project to state governments and municipalities, stating, you become an AI hub, and that starts to bring in developers, that starts to bring in other companies, that starts to bring in folks who want to be part of that broader ecosystem. Next up, our oh my god, I can't believe it's taken this long story for the day, the long-awaited AI Alexa could be nearing release. According to Reuters sources, Amazon has scheduled a press conference later this month to unveil the new, smarter version of Alexa. They said the press invites have been sent for an event on February 26th. AI Alexa has been one of the most anticipated AI products since it was first shown off in late 2023. Honestly, it's been one of the most anticipated products since we saw ChatGPT. An LLM powering Alexa is just obviously going to give such a better experience. However, there has been a string of delays and reports on the troubled development process. Last October, Bloomberg ran a feature listing a host of issues from hallucinations to high cost to bureaucratic friction at the company. And the explanation that really stood out was that the prototypes just weren't very good at Alexa's core functions. Bloomberg wrote, top engineers and testers involved with the effort say the AI-enhanced assistant can still drone on with irrelevant or superfluous information and struggles with humdrum tasks it previously excelled at, like turning on and off the lights. Frankly, this Reuters reporting doesn't instill a lot of confidence that the product is truly ready for prime time. They wrote, Executives have scheduled a meeting known as a go-no-go -go for February 14th. There they will make a final decision on the street readiness of Alexa's generative AI revamp, according to the people and an internal planning document. So who knows, maybe this will actually just be another delay. Lastly today, about six months after OpenAI co-founder John Schulman left that company to join Anthropic, he has now left Anthropic to join former OpenAI CTO Mira Marati's new startup. We still don't have any idea what the startup, which is called Thinking Machines Lab, is going to do, but they are definitely scooping some serious talent, and so it is worth keeping a close eye on. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition. Next up, the main episode.